Yo, what's good, Anthony? What's good, Jack? Whiskey. <laughs> look, y'all already coming in with the nines, man. Look, 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 look. Let's get into this, man. You know what I'm saying? It's been a lot going on behind the scenes, but I appreciate y'all for having y'all notifications on. This is going to be another lit one for tonight. Another lit one for tonight. Where everybody watching from? Let's go ahead and get that roll call going. Let's go ahead and get that thing done. Connecticut in the house, you know what I'm saying? Peace, God, for sure. Rhode Island. Y'all smash that like button on the way in. That shit is free. That thing is free. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all happy to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, go Raiders. Yo, the, the, the chat going too fast, man. Maryland in the house. The two do in a few. We got the UK VA. Uh, South Carolina in the house. Lancaster, Jersey. Damn, man. Y'all all in here. Phoenix, Arizona. You know what I'm saying? Maryland. Kansas City, New Jersey. Vermont in the house. Damn. People live in Vermont for real. Damn. <laughs> That's wild. Philly. Boston. England. All right, man. We got Texas in the house, too. My people up there. Hey, look, man. We're going to get into this video. We got Fayetteville in the house. We're going to get into this video, man. Make sure y'all, hey, put them, put them fire emojis, those sixes, those nines. Let's get it. We're going to raise the energy in here tonight, you know? Make sure y'all smash that like button so everybody can get these videos, you know? You know how some of y'all don't be getting the notifications? You smash that like button. It spreads a lot faster for other people. But, yeah, I put together a dope video. And, and, and for my ops, I know y'all watching tonight. Y'all go ahead and smash that download. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can hit whatever button y'all want to hit. <laughs> it don't matter. You here anyway. You helping me. But look, let's get it. By now, I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen the video of the herd of sheep that's been walking around in circles for about 10 days straight. Check it out real quick. Now this definitely could have just been a completely natural occurrence, like the sheep being frustrated for being behind a fence for too long or possibly a defense mechanism. But this has not stopped some people from coming up with some strange theories, believing that these animals and nature in general is reacting to some sort of shift in our world that we as humans don't know about. Now what I find interesting is that a similar situation happened not too long ago, but instead of it being sheep walking around in a circle, it was the deer. There's actually been multiple strange events happening with animals in the last couple of years, like when it rained fresh in Texas and many other states, and the mouse plague that happened in Australia. Again, these could be completely yeah, absolutely natural events, not, nigga. but what do you think? I was terrified of one mouse in my room at one point, boy. Like a whole bunch Why of- Why is my dog walking in circles? He's been doing this for days. Spinning in circles. Check this out. Not chasing the tail. All over the world are walking in circles for days on end. Take a look at this for yourself. What? Who we got now? Cows. You guys, what this reminds me of is the Bible says that when Jesus returns, it'll be just like the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, even the animals knew. The people didn't know. No one knew. But the animals knew that God was about to send the rain. They began to walk. They began to march onto the ark as Noah began to tell the people it's about to rain. Listen, 
Jesus Christ is about to return. This is a sign of the end days. This is a sign that his return is very soon. If you don't know him, comment below. I can tell you how to get saved. We are living in the last days. So a lot of really strange things are happening in the world right now. Check out these clips and let me show you what I'm talking about. This image has not been Look, delicious. everybody getting hit. That's all I want to show y'all. What you're seeing is real. And if that wasn't weird enough, there's a clip of sheep and birds doing it together. I have never in my life seen something like this. Apparently the sheep are dancing and then the birds are following them. And the birds and land animals aren't the only things acting strange. Last time I checked, this is now fish act. And weird things aren't just going on with the animals, it's nature too. Remember the trees tree. walking? That's, that's what they say. The tree said, fuck it. We out. And there's a lot of things that you can just explain away. This is not one of them. And the Bible actually says, Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth shall lavish with the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of the heavens, yea, the fish of the sea shall also be taken away. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and the earth distress. So it's very possible that this stuff we're seeing is signs that we're in the last days talked about in the book of Revelations. And in the last days, it says that every creature, every single animal on earth is going to give glory to the lamb that sitteth on the throne. And the lamb that sits on the throne is Jesus. So there's definitely a lot of strange stuff going on in the world. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comments. Could it be possible that we are living in the last days? And if you like this video, check out this video about the extra land they're hiding from us. I also have this video about Ben Franklin doing occult sacrifices. And then this video right here. Something is happening around the world. Animals are going around in circles. For days and nights, they don't stop. Scientists cannot explain why. Look at the fish. They are more connected to the earth than we are. know something we don't look at how many it is but we you know but we tripping when we talk about the shit is changing what's causing this phenomenon what do you think is happening Come on now. Comment your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think is going on. Yeah, and look, yeah, he was saying the wrong name. Look, I'm not, I'm not tonight. I'm not even gonna get into all of that particulars and stuff about people's religions and stuff. You know, how people be getting their feelings and shit. But you know, like one thing I do want y'all to pay attention to is what the animals are doing because when we, when you understand and you understand what's going on here, you, you, you it all start to come together. The mag, the, 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 the poles are shifting. The shit is shifting. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, you just have to seek information and do your own research, too. Just don't look at these videos. When y'all get off of here, go look this stuff up for yourself. You know, it's not to make you feel uncomfortable. It's to, for you to deal with the things that are actually happening. You know? I want y'all to get caught up in the wrong so the things. the reason why the government hasn't overtly came out and say that aliens exist is because the aliens are you guys. The ones who are going to survive this transition are going to be the greys and whatnot. Watch. Oh, yeah. 
obstacle for our future, right? Sort of human. Okay, so you evolved from us. So what are you doing here now? Nuclear war. Remember, there's been a lot of talk about nuclear war, right? So why do we destroy ourselves with nuclear war? Uh, can you be more specific, please? Yes, yeah, it's, it's an interesting video, though. Now, if you look at dogma backwards, it spells am God, because it is the universe. The universe herself is going to cause this great separation. Okay, so you say you're from the future and an evolutionary descendant of humans. You also say you're a different species. So which one is it? Are you a descendant of humans or not? But all I want y'all to get from this little part is, is he's talking about the nuclear destruction. And that's something that we've all been, you know, little do you want to know or not, you see everything is leading towards a certain thing. There is, there, man, y'all see what's happening with, 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 with China and, and Israel and all the other shit that's going on out there? Y'all got to look that shit up, man. Like, we're, we're losing basically alliances and shit. Based on who we're being led by and what's going on, and you, you, we're very slimy in the way that we move, man. We have to admit that, like here where we live at, moving very greasy and slimy. It's all about us. It's always that entitlement. Y'all see the same shit that happens to us here, right? All the entitlement to stuff that we invent, stuff that belongs to us, our our our, our gold, our religion, our our history, our artifacts. You already see what happens with that. Motherfuckers act like it never happened or they want us to act like it never happened. It, there's no peace out there because you already know how they moving when they talk to other countries and stuff. Talking to them greasy, being greasy, doing stupid shit. It's, it's going to lead to one thing. And you see what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. Called the Syrian Anunnaki, who are actually an Avenger race that was created by a fallen angelic matrix to try to take out human beings. That's what their whole purpose was. That was what they were created for, the Syrian Anunnaki race. So this is like a legacy of really shame and sorrow that they carry. But they can be helped too. Now, in the co-evolution agreement of the Emerald Covenant that was restated 200,000 years ago, 248,000 years ago, the Syrian Anunnaki races uh, had infiltrated and were progressively infiltrating human culture. They had done this twice before in the first two seedings of the human lineage on this planet. And because of it, there, were, there was a need for the third seeding. Every time they got involved and tried to take over, it ended up in decimation of the planet, usually pole shift and wiping out of the human race. Our race was seeded on this planet three times. This is the third seeding. Now, the Emerald Covenant of 248,000 years ago served partially as a purpose of being a peace treaty. At this point, there were a number of Anunnaki races and hybrid races that were on the planet with us. And it was an agreement through with certain of the Anunnaki groups and all other angelic legions that we would evolve the, here peacefully together. And the important thing, and this is the thing that it's like the uh, golden promise of the uh, Emerald Covenant, was that we would have all of the knowledge of how to run the planetary Templar complex turned over to us because human beings were created with a purpose. There was a creation contract. To 
Neptune and Pluto are. It is then that the Shams passenger crafts will reach the planet Earth, coming forth to you for the rebirth of the elite few. The 144,000 from the moon base forming the six point star and crescent moon in the sky as your sign. On Nibiru, you had 400 species, broken up into three sets of 144,000. You had the Agigi, the Denier, the Riskians, and many mixed species from different star constellations. The Christians later took the concept of the 144,000 and the rapture and used it in their Bible. If we are blocked, we shall continue to try and abduct you up until the lunar locking of the 26th point in June, when the Earth positions itself in the location of revolution of Earth year 2030. This is what the so-called Christians called the rapture. This would involve a telepathic communication from Nibiru, which could be dangerous to those children who haven't raised themselves to a certain level, and would cause it to shock their nervous systems. Many would be cut off, causing us to sever our etheric tie, although it may be a necessary step. Know this, my child, in the lunar logging of the 12th of August, 2043 AD of the Gregorian calendar, this vortex will reopen, and we must depart with or with Without you, so be prepared, my child. Listen With or without you, these crafts are coming to pick you up. Their children, however, the evil Luciferians in human form, aided by the cursed seed of Canaan and their brothers, the Halabines, Flugeroids, or Halab, are on the rise in many names and organizations throughout the world today, and are trying their best through the media and mind control to make you, the children of the Anunnaki Elohim, regress back to a state of Homo erectus with the aid of black devils. If you regress back to that state, then my children, the elders have no reason to come for you, for it is homo sapien that is in our image and after our likeness. Let me- I ain't, I'm gonna tell y'all this, look. Y'all can go back and turn into them monkey looking motherfuckers if you want to. I'm not going back to nothing like that. I ain't come from that. So this, the shit they be talking about, I ain't come from that, bro. You feel me? I don't see how you can regress back to something like that. Like, I I, I ain't going. I'm going to tell y'all that. Rashad Jamal. The sun literally strengthens us. Nobody in my bloodline. But it kills human beings. DEA. What make us more athletic than human beings? DEA. They can't explain shit else to you. They can't. Go talk to any doctor. They're not going to speak the esoteric facts. So they'll say, he trained. No, bro. We don't be training shit. We like that. Like, go to any hood in America, you're going to find 100 niggas that can jump out the gym. You feel me? 100 facts. more, 100 facts. more black people, Latino people that will outrun any track star. What are you talking about? You see what I'm saying? Like, we just naturally like that. We naturally like that. This shit natural. I tumble, I ran track, I play, but I'm athletic as hell. Like, it's natural. We ain't got to do none of that. Well, I ain't worked out in months. I'm still cut the fuck up. Me too. You see what I'm saying? Like, if a person don't know me, if you know me, you're like, yeah, God, it worked out in a minute. But if you don't know me, you'll be like, damn, he, he, what's your workout plan? Because some of y'all be like that. Like, well, I ain't worked out in a minute. You hear me? I ain't worked out in a minute. I've been super slack. You know what I'm saying? But we, the genetics, it's a genetic thing. And sometimes human beings, y'all even know it's genetics. I've heard human beings say it. Genetics. Y'all have said it now. Okay. So we're, <laughs> right. talking about, we're talking about genetics now. Okay. So what are these genetics that's different? Let's put a title on So apparently, if this particle accelerator goes bad, the Anunnaki and the Galactic Federation will intervene. One of my supporters actually sent me a page within his book and it spoke about this. The Anunnaki Final Warning to Earth and their return in 2022 5th edition. You can screenshot this to read it on your own later. It says, according to Maximilian de la Fette, they lead to parallel dimensions of the Anunnaki and the beginning of time where the God particle slash Higgs boson can be found, which is the reason for the building of CERN's large hydro... Hadron Whatever. Collider. As through the mirror, a cosmic screen slash monitor with the vast depot of data that informs the Anunnaki of past, present, and future events occurring in non-linear form. And also in different galaxies by which the Anunnaki can monitor the activities of humans on Earth. 
the Greys, Reptilians, Nordics, Lyrans, and so on. It also says the Anunnaki will definitely intervene if nuclear explosion were to be seen on the cosmic screen. It's crazy how they're messing with portals when they're about to return. I'm telling you. Yeah, eating that mac and cheese. The US federal government decided we would spray our entire grain supply with folic acid, this man-made chemical. We don't call it sprayed with folic acid, we call it fortified or enriched. So if you spin a box of crackers around, you see the words fortified or enriched, that means sprayed with folic acid. Now let's take a child. They're getting ready for school in the morning. They have this gene <laughs> mutation. And you've pumped them full of folic acid laden foods. Pop tarts, white bagels, cocoa puffs, uh, cocoa puffs, cereals. Now you just dumped folic acid into their body. And then by the time they get to school, the teacher's calling saying, hey, little Johnny can't pay attention. He doesn't concentrate, doesn't focus. He doesn't finish his assignments. He's not following directions. He's got ADHD. We need to bring in the Ritalin to control this. And the truth is ADHD is not even an attention deficit disorder at all. It's an attention overload disorder. And then what modern medicine wants to do is give you an amphetamine to speed up, race the central nervous system to match the pace of the mind. Instead of putting just amino acids into the bloodstream that allow the mind to naturally... Shalom. Had to turn this one down. That copyright, crazy. But look at them eyeballs, though. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm not tripping. There is a fucking UFO out here when he in the be middle released, of the damn sky. I, I Everybody don't know. is riding around like they don't see this shit. Like they don't see this shit. So apparently yesterday in Orlando or in Central Florida, you can hear a loud boom from five something in the morning all the way from um, Jacksonville to Orlando. This is what they say. It came from, from Jacksonville to Orlando yesterday. There was a loud boom at 5 a.m. and they said it was some kind of spaceship that landed um, that was in orbit for like 909 days that landed secretly that don't nobody know about it, um, the Kennedy Space Center. Now, she also, a couple it. weeks ago, right? A couple weeks ago, I heard um, in, in my uh, complex, there was like this loud ass boom sounded like a um it sounded like a big old um it sounded like like a spaceship was taken off of the roof off the roof of the building like it was it was just really loud like it was really loud and but there was nothing in the sky the whole neighborhood came out and was looking there was nothing in the sky and then um it, it did it like twice it was just really 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 loud like it just sounded like it was a ship or something a a plane or something just taking off of the roof, like shaking the cars and everything. Like, you know, it sounded like in the movies, like it would have been something that would have broken glass and caused alarms to go off. It was really loud. It was nothing in the sky, unexplainable. But Disney tried to say that, hey girl, but Disney tried to say that, um, Disney tried to say that um, they had some kind of military or whatever um, <laughs> of planes course. that was flying over them. But ain't nobody see no planes. There was no planes outside at all. Now, I've been saying lately, Disney does these fireworks. They do fireworks every night, right? But the last couple of nights, they've been doing fireworks. Like, it sounds like fireworks, but there'll be no fireworks. It just be loud booms, just loud booms. Now, I, I always see little, like, things in the sky. Like, I've seen, like, the little... The ones that be flying in the daytime, the black UFOs and stuff, the, the triangular ones, I've seen those in the daytime out here. But this is the first time I've ever, ever, ever seen anything like this. Clearly, I'm the only one that sees this because everybody else is just driving like it's nothing there. But I just wanted to get this on video. I got a couple of pictures, but I just wanted to get this on video so y'all can see this for y'all self. Because I know I'm not tripping. Nah, you're not tripping. That thing is a big ass sphere. It is a big ass sphere. Do to hold people back. This is what we do. And we got this other thing that's Dumb also food. been working for a long time where you don't have to be racist anymore. It's called self hate. It works on itself. It's like real estate of racism. Where just like that, when someone comes up and says something like, I am a God, everybody says, Who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. <laughs> I just told you. That's who I think I am. 
Would it have been better if I had a song that said, I am a nigga? Or if I had a song that said, I'm a gangster? Or if I had a song that said, I am a pimp? All those colors and patinas fit better on a person like me, right? But to say you... Hey, real shit, though. Real talk, real talk, real talk. You remember how Dave Chappelle said the same thing when they were talking about, you know, when when he had his show back in the day. But he told them, but, you know, y'all let me do all this other shit. He was like, but, you know, I'm not a nigga. But they comfortable with that. They let that happen. They let people make movies and joke about slavery and stuff. But the minute something else happened to somebody else, it's oh my gosh. That shows you the that shows you where they're already at mentally. They don't give a fuck about our our, our people at all. Because they feel like they what they got going on is more important. That's all that is, you know? So they programming people to have self-hate too as well. And a lot of people, when we speak about agents and stuff, that's like when you're trying to escape from the Matrix. You've seen that motherfucker, that, that agent coming out of P, he's coming out of regular people to try to destroy you. That's what happens. And, and that's a lot of stuff that's been going on in our communities, man. We got we, we to gotta wake up from that. Drink CMOS. 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 And what does that do for you? CMOS. Well, see, the body is. And, 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 and I'm not going to nitpick about everything this man said. I was just using something because it made sense. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm not saying I agree with everything that this man just said. Like, we're not going to do that. It's 102 minerals, and CMOS has 99 of them. No kidding. So it's, it's. So you're feeling good? Yeah. CMOS. If you had no idea that you should be avoiding AirPods, watch this video and find out why. Now, yesterday, we tested the AirPods Pro. All right, there you go. Right there, 450 millimeters meters squared, almost 500, and that's a centimeter away. I'm gonna put it really close, and it's broke the meter. <laughs> and the highest that fella went was a thousand, a thousand, over a thousand. It went so high that this reader could not compute it anymore. Zero L means it's too high to understand. Normally, though, it goes around 300. So, an AirPods Pro is designed to go between your ears. It's going similar levels to a friggin' microwave on full blast. So you have to be like this. This is like, this is life with an AirPods Pro. Guys, I hope you found that a bit enlightening. I know this whole radiation stuff it's a very sensitive topic. A lot of people don't want to Royal, I appreciate you. understand all this stuff. I know it's very sensitive, but I'm just putting... Hey, thank you. Proof, proof it was on. I'm just putting this information out there. A microwave between your ears. To truly understand the law of attraction, you're going to make your life so much easier. It goes along, though, with the reprogramming process. You have to begin to start the reprogram. If you want it to work consistently, you can make it work by accident here or there, spot it. But if you want it to work consistently, you got to continue to reprogram your DNA. And then you have to understand one other thing, quantum entanglement. But in quantum entanglement, which is something in real physics, it's where you use something called parabolic down conversion to get two photons or two particles on the same frequency. So once you get two particles on the same frequency, you could take one particle to the other end of the universe if you had the capability of getting it there. And the particle that's local to you, you can change the information in it, put data on it, and the other particle will change instantaneously, bypassing the speed of light. What does this prove? Distance is an illusion. There is no distance. And scientists now have discovered that the neurons in the brain phase in and out of the third dimensional reality. Think about this. Look it up. I always give you real science. Real science that you can research for yourself. So your neurons, your, between your synapses, are actually phasing in and out of the third dimension. Where are they going? They're communicating with other realms and other dimensions, syncing and quantum entangling with particles and thoughts in other places. So when you understand this power of manifestation, how to sync with the universal consciousness through something else, which I've labeled the Christ consciousness. So the Christ consciousness doesn't mean you're syncing up with Jesus Christ. What it means is you're th syncing up with the idea, the concept of this higher level of consciousness that exists out there in space time. So when you yourself are aligning yourself properly with the universe, Vibrating on a high frequency. And what does that mean, vibrating on a high frequency? That means you're thinking with love, not thinking with hate. You're thinking with power and love, not fear and weakness. And when you do that, that puts your DNA 
scientifically at a high frequency. This is real science. It's not like, oh man, these people just got up here and talking about these frequencies and all this stuff. They don't know what they're talking about. Now I'm talking about real peer-reviewed quantum physics and quantum mechanics. I want to manifest a spouse into my life, for example. Let's just go with that. I want to manifest a spouse into my life that's operating in the same frequency that I'm operating, that's moving in the same way that I'm moving. Because I tried it before where one person's going this way, another person's going that way, it didn't work out. I did it twice. I'm going, man, I'm beating myself up. What am I doing here? Not that that person was all wrong or that I was all wrong, but it just wasn't a perfect match on the frequency level. So I start focusing on this in meditations. I start focusing on envisioning not a face, not a body, just a spirit light being that is in full agreement and movement in what I'm looking to do and accomplish on this planet. Yeah, I pick up what he says. So when people be saying that they're communicating and they're astral projecting all these things, it's proven that, look, your mind can, it's, look, man, you're very powerful. You just have to hone into what we were given here and maximize your capabilities, you know, and then you'll start to see what other people are talking about when they said that, oh, I'm communicating with the ancestors or, or I grabbed this idea out of, you know, the atmosphere or whatever. You know, when you hear these people speak like that, that's what's happening with that situation. So you are communicating with our realm. With the, <laughs> it's, it's, it's deep. <laughs> I don't want to talk about what he just talked about, but some people don't get it. You know, that's that's what that is. It's crazy, though. I think it's neat. The great Masonic secret. The Egyptian-like people were here because they're, I have, I've ran across some people who have found some Egyptian artifacts in Colorado and Idaho. Um, the Egyptian yeah. belt you're talking about, there was one found in the mountains east of Provo. Um, in Nevada, there was some found. Um, and then, uh, you know, the stories of the Egyptians in the Grand Canyon. And then I have a friend that found some Egyptian hieroglyphs, you know, along uh, <laughs> at Lake Powell, which would have been along the Colorado River. Um, so uh, it's interesting you'd say that. So you, well, you see, there was... see, an interesting thing that's kind of kept quiet is, is mummifying bodies was Egyptian. Hmm. The, and they found a few scattered around the world, basically. The second largest place they found mummified bodies is in the old Utah Territory. Really? And they found them from the highest caves to clear down in New Mexico and stuff. They were mummified. And very few on this continent, yeah. Really? Mummified out of the old original Utah Territory. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Utah was an Egyptian. There's history on him. Huh. That was a man, but his name, and you've probably seen it, his name was spelled P-T-A-H. But the P was pronounced as a U. Uh -huh. Utah. Huh. So I, I don't know, know what I don't know what Brigham and them knew, but he knew this was the Utah Territory. Huh. And that the Utah Territory is part of Wyoming, Nevada, yeah. clear down in New down Mexico, California, Arizona, yeah. uh, Colorado. Yeah. Now, I think that was originally called Utah's territory. See, that, that day was up Kern Creek, and get, that got in the talkative mood. Boy, we should have been older, because I was only 12 then. He said, uh, the Red Ledges was the biggest and longest work mine, biggest, richest, and longest work mine in this, this area. Hmm. that was worked originally by the Egyptians. Really? He said the front of the red ledge is where you see all the ledges now was just like the back of the red ledges till it caved in. Hmm. So that was massive. He said it just sloped down in the front the same as it sloped in the back till hmm. it all caved in. And an earthquake. An earthquake. So it's quite obvious that they didn't want to get this information out. The dinosaurs were probably the dragons and the monsters that you hear about in all the mythologies. The blonde-haired giants, they definitely didn't want nobody to know about that. And Egyptians. This dude right here, I couldn't put the volume up all the way on this one, but I want to let y'all know something. I know y'all probably seen this man speak on YouTube a lot, do interviews and stuff, 
but he was he was sitting right here. I don't know if he knew he was being recorded, but he clearly says, um, "Oh, people want more, more want more souls," and he said, "Well, I want less." <laughs> and he's laughing and stuff, like, but he's dead ass serious to these people. Because they're talking about population. They want more souls. I want less. That's just wild though, right? Dangerous cancer-causing chemicals and products for sale on the grocery store shelves. Scientists tested a variety of common items and found disturbing results. Action News Jack's investigator Justin Gray is live in Washington. Justin, the same deadly chemical lawmakers are working to keep out of drinking water can also be found in food packaging. John, the scientists tested for elevated levels of fluorine. They say that means that the product was likely made with the dangerous, potentially cancer-causing chemical PFAS. Microwave popcorn, dental floss, even cake pans. Researchers tested in-house products from supermarket giant Albertsons, owner of Shaw's, Safeway, Acme, and more, and found signs of PFAS chemicals. We've told you before how PFAS chemicals can get into the water supply from firefighting foam and cause cancer and liver disease. But the group Safer Chemicals Healthy Families warns those same dangerous chemicals can also be found in the packaging and groceries, which can seep into the food. When you walk into a store, you expect that the products on the shelves are going to be safe. Um, you don't expect that they're going to contain harmful chemicals. While researchers only tested a few products at a few stores in this study, they warned the same harmful chemicals are likely found at most other grocery stores, too. Just last year, the same team found two-thirds of takeout containers at major grocers like Kroger, Food Lion, and Whole Foods contain PFAS. After that study, Whole Foods and Trader Joe's both pledged to find new takeout packaging that does not contain PFAS. Really, we need companies to take action on this. This really is not a problem that consumers can buy their way out of. Message. Real shit. This water is not bottled from a mountain stream. Now PepsiCo plans to spell it out for consumers, adding the words public water source to the label of its Aquafina brand. And in case you didn't know, Aquafina is actually just purified tap water. That would make me never want to buy Aquafina again, knowing that it was bottled. Food public. Yeah, run that exactly. back to her. Yeah, I feel you. That's what am I paying for? That's shit crazy. Wow. How's that make you feel? Like I've been bamboozled and hoodwinked all this time. PepsiCo said, "Quote: If this helps clarify the fact that water originates from public sources, then it's a reasonable thing to do." Coca-Cola's Dasani does the same thing purifies and bottles public drinking water. One environmental group found at least 25% of bottled water is actually just tap water, sometimes purified, sometimes not. We are now exposing an underbelly truth that is a big percentage of bottled water in this country is tap water. Hey, but look, I've been through this shit. <laughs> I've been through this, but it's just crazy though. But you have to understand, do y'all know what's in the drinking water? Do you know what's in the drinking water? I'm talking about everything you flush. Down there. People flush pills and stuff down there. There's a lot of medications that's in drinking water. So a lot of people run around here and you wonder why your emotions are everywhere or you're feeling down or depressed or something like that. A lot of the times it's the things and you got to think too. Your skin also absorbs those chemicals through what? Taking showers, taking baths. When you don't at least have a purifier on your water or something, you would got to try anything you can at this point. You just can't go in there and take this. We, we call water from the sink city punch. That's that city punch. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it's, it's bad for you. It's going through your skin. Your body is absorbing it. You're drinking it. This shit is built to, this, you know, calcify your pineal gland. You know? Give you all types of problems and shit. Like... You think is you think you taking a shower in lavender and you feeling relaxed and shit, but really is that medication kicking in that your ass just took a shower in or you just drunk. But whatever though, we continue. 
Oh, it's lavender. Okay. <laughs> Neurotoxin is a substance that will stimulate brain cells to the point of killing them. When applied enough to receptors, the neurons die. While they're doing that, they cause headaches, migraines, learning disabilities, Lou Gehrig's disease. The list goes on and on. So why is this in food? Because the industry that sells it makes a lot of money from the product. If you have a product that has some MSG in it, your product is going to be more flavorful. And they've gone to great lengths to hide that. I found MSG hidden among many different labels. Can you give us some of the things that they use to hide MSG? The hydrolyzed protein products. Okay. So you'll see hydrolyzed pea protein or hydrolyzed corn protein, hydrolyzed whey protein, There's autolyzed yeast, yeast extract, sodium caseinate, maltodextrin. Some of these foods, I mean, live with them every water single day. And they have yeah, that water is the best. One of the best. But hey, look! So I woke up this when y'all go shopping and stuff like this. Yo, take screenshots of this stuff and look at the stuff that they underline and everything that's in y'all foods, man. And and slowly but surely, just start to eliminate that stuff and and, and, and do better. I'm telling you, you gonna feel it. You gonna feel the difference. Your energy is gonna change. Morning, and I saw the craziest thing on my feed. You guys have to check this out. He was found in it. They found in his house. No, like tons of bodies, bro. What? Ben Franklin, they found tons of bodies in his- Ben Franklin was a serial killer? No, he was like doing some weird shit. It's, by the way, this is from the Smithsonian. This is not some wacky conspiracy th So after I saw that, I was like, no way, and I went and looked it up myself. 200 years after Franklin's death, there was actually 15 different bodies found on his property. They were hidden in a secret windowless room, and six of them were children. And it's safe to say that Ben Franklin was not a very good dude. He not only owned slaves in his lifetime, but he actually was a huge part of the slave trade and profited from it. And we can all agree that slavery is pure evil. Ben Franklin was also a Grand Master Freemason. And not only was he in the secret society known as the Freemasons, but he was also into occult teachings as well. And we do know for a fact that a lot of teachings that come from the occult and Satanism involve sacrifices human or animal sacrifices and it's been going on for thousands of years so with the evidence that we have so with the evidence we have it is possible that the bodies found on benjamin franklin's property could have been from some type of satanic ritual i mean the guy was okay with buying and selling human beings and some of the bodies there were children so to even think that there's a one percent chance that something bad could have happened to those kids makes me feel sick scholars do try to say it was for autonomy that he was merely taking corpses that were already dead and just dissecting them. And in those days, those type of sciences we have today were illegal. But even if the historians are correct, it still doesn't make it any less creepy that he's sitting in some dark room cutting up a kid. I also find it quite funny that they say in the Bible that money is the root of all evil, and we have Ben Franklin's face on it. And this is just another reason on my many lists of reasons why I do not trust the Freemasons. So you guys tell me what you guys think about this in the comments. Why do you guys think there was bodies under Ben Franklin's house? And if you guys like these types of videos, hit follow. I'm only 1,200 followers away from my goal of 20K. Y'all stay safe out there and have a blessed day. Peace. Why y'all think those bodies was under there? What was he doing with those bodies? Be out there doing weird things with the bodies? Yeah. It's also you know what's crazy though? Like, Roundup is used to kill what? organic things here on this earth plants and stuff right weeds right yeah opening eyes i appreciate you appreciate y'all but but think about that most people are trying to eat what so it's, it's going to be a counteraction to everything so once you try to eat healthy it's going to always be something that you have to look for so this is a pure example of, you know, we might know a lot of information, but there is always going to be something done that we're going to have to counteract. So, you know, the more that we stay sharp on certain information, the better we'll be as a people as a whole, you know, and we we'll, we we'll eventually get to the point where everybody is working within themselves, where they can regulate, you know, their hormones and everything else like that. And we all we, I bet you we we'll communicate a lot better. You know, we'd be more understanding of each other. You know, we ain't got to be so aggressive and abrasive and shit, you know. But. After finding phthalates and replacement plasticizers. And more bread ain't even bread. You're right. Bread ain't even bread. Foods they tested. 
National chains like McDonald's, Domino's, and Chipotle all have something in common, according to new research, dangerous chemicals found in the food. The regulations for phthalates don't make sense. Dr. Lariah Edwards is the lead researcher of the study that analyzed fast food, finding phthalates and other plasticizers leaching into the food we eat. The chemicals are used to make plastic soft for food packaging, processing equipment, and handling gloves. They are banned in toys, but they're not regulated in food contact materials or in cosmetics. So from our study, we're seeing that we found these chemicals in our foods, and that's not, that's a concern. Banned in toys, but not in food. They found people who reported eating more fast food had higher levels of phthalates in their system. The chemicals that we are putting into our everyday products are affecting the way our hormone systems run, and they're having adverse effects. The effects of phthalates range from reproduction issues to diabetes and behavioral problems in children, and it could be felt more acutely in areas where there's limited limited access to healthier food options. Fast food is so much more available, accessible, affordable among low-income communities. We need to fix that problem as well. The FDA says it Look, if that's another way so you've been attacked from so many different angles. I put it like this. You got to think when they want you at the bottom and they want to keep you on that hamster wheel, they want to keep you on your spot like they tried to do Kyrie Irving. Kept him. They 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 thought he was gonna be good with just doing this and be afraid to do something outside of what they have him doing. But nah, he stood up. But the thing is, you got to think about this, man. You're being attacked from so many different angles, man. And this food is is one of the biggest ones. And it, it's important for y'all to hear it from other people outside of you know our community. We need to see everybody is starting to talk about these things because you want to know why now. Because they understand now that it's affecting them as well. The plan didn't go as what they, the plan ain't planning the way that they planned it. You feel me? I'm here today to tell you that we're actually hacking the software of life and that it's changing the way we think about prevention and treatment of disease. So here's all the biology you need to know in 30 seconds. Our body is made out of organs. Our organs are made out of cells. And in every cell, there's this thing called messenger RNA, or mRNA for short, that transmits the critical information from the DNA, our genes, to the protein, which is really the stuff we're all made out of. This is the critical information that determines what a cell will actually do. And so we think of it like an operating system. And so if you could actually change that, which we call the software of life, if you could introduce a line of code or change a line of code, it turns out that has profound implications for everything. So many of us get a vaccine. Yeah, that's right. Today, we're gonna to be going over the seven ways to identify pseudoscience so everyone can realize what's going on around us in this <laughs> realm, on the internet, on their phone, what is happening? Number one, <laughs> the use of psychobabble. Words that sound scientific and professional, but are used incorrectly in a misleading manner. Maria, love your lives. I see people doing this all the time. Not good, really obvious one. A substantial reliance on anecdotal evidence. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, I'm literally gonna explain anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal evidence is basically personal experience. See, pseudoscience relies on anecdotal evidence from personal experiences of other people. Example, we've gotta believe that a bunch of Freemasons landed on the moon in this because we don't have the telemetry data to prove it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't bring any of that back. Oh, three, one of my favorites. <laughs> extraordinary claims in absence of extraordinary evidence, like claiming that the Earth is a ball on a tilt of an axis, orbiting the sun, chasing the sun at 500,000 miles an hour, and then our galaxy is supposedly going over a million miles an hour through a space vacuum infinitely that's expanding apparently, but <laughs> no one can prove any of that or has any scientific <laughs> evidence of it. It's like it's pseudoscience. <laughs> claims which cannot be proven false. This image should help out with this one um the big bang theory i can't like time travel back to the <laughs> explosion um evolution that we spawn from a single cell <laughs> organism seriously the general i'm not skipping insanity <laughs> heliocentric theory yeah i go over this one a bit it's all pseudoscience didn't you know 
The layers of the Earth is also a pseudoscience. They're saying we know what's down to the core, the center of the Earth, but we've only dug seven miles. Like, whoa, whoa, slow your horses. Way too much pseudoscience going on here. Claims that counter established scientific fact. Self-explanatory. Absence of adequate peer review. Like, get some flat earthers to go up into space. Stop just sending Freemasons. Claims that are repeated despite being refuted. Like the Earth is a ball. There's been flat earthers since like ever. Like, I'm not sure if you've seen my other videos, but like all of our ancestors. <laughs> and then NASA tells us we're well. Here's another quick pseudoscience for you. The sea levels are supposedly rising. One last way to identify pseudoscience before you go. Any body of knowledge purported to be scientific or supported by science, but which fails to comply with a scientific method. But if you want a lot less pseudoscience on your For You page, make sure you're following me. Seriously, I keep getting banned for some reason, like I'm pretty G-rated. And check out my link tree in case that happens again. I've got all my other socials there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I swear, bro. He's the most condescending dude I've ever witnessed in my life. Yeah, he's one of my favorite TikTokers though, like by far, bro. Like, like, like I like that type of energy, man. He's he he he's straight to the point and he's with it, man. Like that's uh, and he's not going to stop. Clearly, they didn't deleted him how many times? Like even if you go to his Instagram, they will warn you about even following him on Instagram. Wild, wild. He's clearly pissing them off. But all of our ancestors did write that shit. They did draw it like that. Whatever, though. Okay. Um, one second. Yeah, I got on shorts and a, sh and a jacket. Yeah. I had the window open. Yeah, I know what that means. No. Did y'all catch on what was going there? So if you don't, if you don't get the thing, you know, they gonna find, they gonna have ways to know if you if you got it or not. You know, grow your own food. Get ready. Oh, bro, ain't no way. So you telling me that this whole time the Transformers was talking about the Anunnaki? Y'all might want to tune into this one. I don't think y'all ever heard some shit like this. The entire yeah, storyline from each movie translates to the story of the fall of frequency of carbonated beings. It's symbolic. Tune in. Let me first begin by saying that the planet Cybertron is allegory for the planet Sirius X, which is the headquarter of the Sirius star system for the Anunnaki, a technological advanced society, kind of like Wakanda, if you will. During the fall of our frequency, we went from telepathy to symbols and then to letters which is why none of the human beings could understand what the symbols were and where they came from because it's now stay with me transformers 2 revenge of the fallen only a prime could defeat the fallen which is why he waited for optimus to die seven of them had already passed and optimus is the only prime left once optimus prime temporarily died before he was revived the fallen came back to earth to claim back an object called the matrix notice how it's called the matrix my awakened ones know we live in the matrix right now in order to revive his planet the fallen needed the matrix for a machine that would harvest the sun's energy because the sun's energy would bring back the life force of planet cybertron or sirius x the technology to harvest the sun was at the top mids of giza and we know what that is one of nine yeah, beings ancient you. civilizations the decepticons fought for the survival of their own planet and the autobots fought for the colonizers 
The divine source of the Transformers didn't even fuck with Optimus. Why you think Sentinel Prime turned against the Autobots after they... What you must realize, my Autobot brothers, is we were never going to win the war. For the sake of our planet's survival, a deal had to be made with Megatron. Mm. This is our home. We must defend the humans. So lost you are, Optimus. On Cybertron, we were gods. And here, they call us machines. Let the humans serve us or perish. Just like a war broke out on Cybertron, a war broke out on Sirius X, which is how planet Tiamat or Earth got here in the first place. The Matrix would help revive Cybertron, which is why the humans kept trying to keep it out of their hands. And once we all <laughs> realize like that the funny. Matrix is what's holding us back is when we all will rise. They don't want us to rise. They want us to submit like him. We consume 85% of the economy. Without us or the Autobots, there would be no them. Remember who you are. Peace. I think there's two barriers. Success is a funny word. Nightingale had a great definition for it. He said a person's successful if they know where they are and they know where they're going and they're progressively moving in that direction. He said that success was the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Anyone that has a goal and they're moving towards it, they're successful. <clears throat> Most people think that you're successful if you have a lot of money. Quite often you have a lot of money if you're successful, but it isn't. I wouldn't say Mother Teresa has a lot of money. Okay. No, but she's a pretty successful lady. So it's... Um, okay, so that barrier to success... Well, there's a, there's a couple react. of them. Okay. I think there's two barriers. One is our conditioning. The conditioning that takes place in our subconscious mind from the time we're infants. All we can do is act and talk like the people around us. That's why we learn the language we learned. If there was 10 languages spoken in our home, we'd learn 10 languages without any trouble. There's usually one, and that's the only one we ever learn. And we grow older and we think, oh, I couldn't learn another language. We could learn a hundred if we wanted to. You can do anything. But I think we're conditioned. We have a, a real strong conditioning, usually with not some very good ideas. And then that, that's the, the, the barrier that's inside us. The one that's outside of us is our environment. We have a tendency to act like everybody around us. And if you think about this, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because nope. if you study statistics, 95% of the people live their entire life and never live the way they want to live. Yeah. You know that 95% of the population in this country, let's say in North America, okay. the richest continent in the history of the world, they'll work productively, let's say for 40 of their 65 years, okay. and they'll end up with hardly any money. Well, there's got to be something wrong. So there's not much. 5% of the people end up financially comfortable or independent. Are you trying to depress us, Bob? Because that's uh... no. Actually, I think it's I think it's quite an exciting idea. Listen. Today, as I was reading scripture, I came across something that blew my mind. The Bible tells us where Satan's throne is. In Revelations 2 and 13, it says, I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. So where was Antipas slain? And when you look it up, it takes us here. And when you Google where Antipas was martyred, it brings you to Geneva, Switzerland. It says the traditional account goes on to say Antipas was martyred during the reign of Nero, by burning in a brazen bull-shaped altar at the Apollyon Temple in Geneva, Switzerland. And that, of course, got me to wondering, what exactly is in Geneva? Well, let's take a look. 
the CERN Haldron Collider, for one, where they're trying to discover and replicate the Big Bang. Hmm. Think about it. Everyone underestimates me, but then they turn their back and I'm like, boo! <laughs> Or non ether beings, but we are extraterrestrial beings and we do not come from the earth. We actually come from this cosmic realm. They got they done got new technology that done done surfaced that they then went deeper and deeper and deeper into DNA and genomes, and they found that Africans have a different DNA strand, y'all. About 50,000 years ago, ancient humans in what is known as West Africa apparently procreated with another group of ancient humans that scientists did not know exist. <laughs> Hold on, let me say that again, boy. About 50,000 years ago, ancient humans in what is known as West Africa apparently procreated with another group of ancient humans that scientists didn't know that, existed. Cat. They aren't any bones or ancient DNA to prove it, but researcher says the evidence is in the genes of modern West Africans. It says uh, they analyzed genetic material from hundreds of people from Nigeria and in, uh, in, uh, in Sierra Leone and found signals of what they call ghost DNA from another ancestral line. And trying to research our blackness, they found out that it's a gene in us that they don't even know where it come from. And it traces back to the procreotic cell. And we're going to trace the procreotic cell back to different planetary systems in the galaxy. In the galaxy family, not from Earth. Showing you that we are the true extraterrestrial beings here on this planet. So if we can tap into our DNA or what they call the junk DNA and all this other stuff or the ghost DNA. Notice they start changing the name of it because they don't know what to, how to study it. If we can tap into that and if we can localize into that and meditate on that and find a way to bring that to the surface collectively as a collective African consciousness, we can take back our freedom, y'all. Well, tap into that junk DNA. In the three mile long ancient craft on the back dark side of our moon. So what is the discussion in detail back in 1976 between you and Commander Rutledge about this extraordinarily beautiful Polynesian looking preserved female in one of the cockpit chairs? Neither of us could understand how could she possibly be that well preserved. And what is it that you're looking at first? Her skin was all intact and she was wearing clothing, a dress of some sort possibly a jumpsuit type of thing and it seemed to be very much intact no deterioration at all to speak of what about those tubes on her face well, william rutledge believed that they had to do with controlling the spaceship that those tubes on her face were controlling from her mind this huge three mile long craft and she was the pilot and the gray was like a co-pilot well, they had a control panel that looks like you put your hands on it. And apparently the controls, the ship's computer, interface directly with the pilots. Okay, and we saw that in Roswell, the six-fingered panels. I've talked with both scientists and military people who have confirmed for me they've had their own hands in those panels from 47. There were six fingers on those particular beings. Five fingers with opposing uh, thumb. So that would match what came down in Roswell. Yes. Did you and William Rutledge then have discussions about those facts and did you have information from NASA about look for six fingered embedded panels as control of the ship? I received practically no briefing because I got there just in the nick of time for the flight. I'm sure Rutledge may have been highly trained and have had those discussions with NASA. We had guessed that the ship had been there perhaps millennia and maybe longer. I was going to ask you if today, have you learned from any analysis that has been done how old this big, huge, three-mile-long spacecraft, how long has it been there? How old might it be? There have been guesses tossed around 
that it might be a million years old, might have been a hundred million years old, I've even heard a billion years old. And that this female was still in the pilot's chair, preserved? Absolutely amazing, stunning. How? Technology beyond ours. I wonder why it was this claim circulating though. in Britain. It's being attributed to the MI6 and it concerns the well-being of the Russian president. This says that President Putin is dead and that the Kremlin is using his body double for public appearances. Here's a report. These are the headquarters of MI6, Britain's foremost secret service agency. It collects human intelligence to support the UK's national security. Their latest report is shocking. MI6 says Vladimir Putin may already be dead. Yes, the bosses at this intel body say the Russian president is no more. Is this wishful thinking? A case of state propaganda RCP, or a fact-based assertion? No one knows for sure, but the claims are going viral. They are making headlines in Britain. Here's what they say. The MI6 has told them. Putin is very ill, and when he dies, his death, it will be kept secret for weeks, if not months. There's also the possibility that he is already dead. It's impossible to know. It is believed that Putin has employed body doubles in the past when he has been unwell, and the Kremlin could be doing so now. So what are these assertions based on? If Putin is indeed dead, what caused it? The MI6 will not say. The British media will not stop guessing. Some say he had abdominal cancer. Others say he suffered from Parkinson's disease. Yet others claim it was the result of a surgery. Everyone seems to be adding to the speculation. On social media, MI6 agents are being called conspiracy theorists given the number of times Putin has been declared dead. Many are questioning the state of British journalism. The Russian foreign minister has responded too. He has rejected all such media reports and ruled out any signs of ailment. I ain't gonna lie to this you, that's a weird ass setup right there, boy. I don't think that... I don't know how you let your face do that. Like, you feel me? Like... I ain't, I ain't gonna hold no I ain't holding back no punches on this one. That's that's just that's that's a crazy setup, y'all. I would avoid like all mirrors and shit. Like sane people can see in this person signs of some kind of illness or ailment. Yeah. You can watch him on screen, read and even listen to his speeches. I leave it to the conscience of those who spread such Gotta rumors. Go find me for this dude. Now here's the thing. Putin's health and private life are taboo subjects in Russia. They are almost never discussed in public, forget being reported by the media. So when the West raises questions on his health, there's reason to be cynical, especially during wartime, when narratives can turn the tables. So these stories about Putin being... All right, I'm tired of hearing about Putin, bro. This guy has footage of uh, the two sons. You already know what the other one is. We ain't gotta keep breaking that down, right? Scientists wanted to see what effect human emotion from one person would have upon DNA it's not in that person's body. The human DNA was isolated. And in the presence of the positive emotions, in the presence of the gratitude, appreciation, love, and compassion, what happened was the DNA began to relax. Two coils began to unwind as if the DNA was about to replicate itself. In the presence of negative emotions, the DNA was tightened. Individuals trained in feelings of deep love and appreciation were able to intentionally change the shape of the DNA in their bodies. And they went on to say that human emotion produces effects which defy 
conventional laws of physics. I'm going to show this on every clip. Not only that, but every one every ten be on vegetarian here. products contain meat of some sort. Before we panic and never <laughs> celebrate 4th of July again, there were a few companies noted for having high quality products. Butterball, Hebrew this is National, every video. and Oscar Mayer all rank in the top ten. Still, we'll be ordering burgers for now. Buzz 60, now you know. Pass it on. But you want to know it's crazy? These companies don't have no shame, though. And then on top of that, let's, let's bring it back to the water situation. What was it? Dasani, right? They had to come out and say, what? Oh, our shit come from the sink. All we do is goddamn filter that shit. Ain't no type of lawsuit behind that. Y'all clearly lied for years. And you had people in a false reality that they was drinking something safe. And it really wasn't. Because I don't even trust it. I don't even trust it at this point that they filtered the water. They got that shit out the pond and put that motherfucker in the goddamn bottle and had this drinking that. Oh, Dasani is amazing. And meanwhile, <laughs> if you test the pH levels of that joint, man, look, it it blow your mind. But they they get over a lot, man. And I'm gonna keep putting these videos in these compilations, man, because that's very important. I don't want y'all to ever forget this. So I just got out the shower and I saw this Human post DNA. from CNN saying there's dangerous chemicals found in food wrappers of major fast food restaurants. And while that does sound bad, I want you to pay attention to what it says down there in the caption. Alarming levels of dangerous chemicals. Just pause it right there. That seems normal at first until you think about the fact that that means there's a normal level of dangerous chemicals in our food. Like now it's gotten to a point where we should be concerned. I don't know, but that's definitely something to think about. Look at that. Look at those benefits. It's beautiful. Make sure I got to get y'all some healthy alternatives out here. Make sure you check your source. No GMO, stuff like that. Distraction, so nobody's really focusing on the major shit that they said was going to take place. And now all of a sudden, we done forgot about the major shit that they said was going to take place. And ready or not, here it comes. Now remember, they do a lot of trials and test runs. Trust me, everything that goes across your screen, algorithm for you page and all of that, that shit's by design. The sad part about it is they know who you are, but you don't know who you are. When we think about that mind K altering, yo, that's a real thing. Go look it up. You don't ever have to take my word for nothing that I say. Always, and I mean always, go do your own homework. Yes. But back to the animals. A switch was hit. Yeah, I said it. A switch was hit. And now you got the animals. You got your pets. Doing all types of shit. Mainly going in circles. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Just look around, y'all. It's a lot of demonic activity taking place. It's a lot of entities walking amongst us. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Just stay mindful. Stay watchful. Stay protected to the best of your ability. Because there's different switches on this one device. Kill. Still destroy. And if you know, you know. And if you don't, mm, my bad. But it's a lot of freaky shit going on. It's about a test run. Who will be remotely controlled by what function Charisma on the device? It's only so much I can say because they get mad when I talk about it, you know. So yeah, if you, if you get it, you get it. At this point, for a lot of y'all, it's pretty much too late. But it's whatever, though, you know. At this point.
Now that's fake. But look, I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here, but I'll go ahead and talk to y'all for a little bit, you know, for my people that want to stay and kick it for a little bit. But look, we're gonna finish up this other part probably like tomorrow night. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do tonight, but I want to let y'all know that I'm continuing to work on, you know, the manual stuff I got to do with printing all these labels out for the products and stuff like that, but. I got to get to it, y'all. My, my, my work never stops, and y'all should be doing the same, man. But hopefully y'all been listening to a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, you know, we got to call out the fake stuff. Cap. But, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all y'all moving the same and taking care of yourselves and your family. That's why I do these videos, man, so we can educate ourselves a little bit more. Don't take everything on here. And for a fact, go out here and do your own due diligence, you know, and you determine what's real and what's not to you, you know. But you, we have to really understand, man, it's not safe to be drinking the city punch, you know, getting that shit out the faucet and thinking it's all good. Putting it on your skin, putting these chemicals in your skin. We're getting to the point of more information. So with more information, guess what? There's more responsibility. Now that you know better, now you got to do better. The hardest thing to do is to do better when you've been programmed to do the wrong things. Like through these schools and stuff. When you went to school, they taught you how to be a bot. They taught you how to, you know, box your life off. You know, everything was in shape of a what? Squares and in straight lines. And you had to go in. Then they closed the door on you and stuff like that. You always felt trapped and into a program. And that's what we were in. So they programmed you to think this certain way. So, you know, it's going to take a lot to deprogram a lot of people. But I just want people to think for themselves and stop, you know, always listening. Because you see where it's getting us. People are unhealthy. People have it's high rates of cancer. You know, people getting sick and just dropping, you know, unaliving all of a sudden. You know, a lot of things are happening. And, you know, people in, they tw people in their early 20s with, you know, I'm sorry to say it, but bad bodies and shit because it's food. This, this war on food is, is, is fucking people up. You know what I'm saying? It is. And it's done, it done whooped everybody ass, you know. But once you know, you know. Once you know what's in our food products, you start to do a little better. You know, if you want to do better, I promise you, if you start eating a little bit better out here, and I'm not saying don't have a cheat day here and there, but you're going to have to define what's a cheat day for you and avoid most of these toxins. But look, man, hopefully y'all got something from this video. I'm going to go ahead and kick it for the rest of the night and just sit here and relax. I'm going to contact you uh, for your products for sure. A lot of y'all been hitting me up for it. Y'all online for sure, and I have product for y'all, like I said. If you want the product, then y'all let me know. But uh, I'm about to go ahead and kick it for the rest of the night. Chill out, vibe. And look, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all smash that like button on your way out. If y'all haven't hit it already, you know what I'm saying? It's over 5,000 something people, like 5,500 people in here at one point. You know, just make sure y'all do that one thing for free. It's free. You know? All right, bet. But look, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and your family. And we out this thing. Red Cap, I appreciate you. Much love, for sure. For sure. I, I, I love the support. Damn, I love the support. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, you know. I'm going to holler at y'all.